<sighs> so let me tell you a little bit about my story. So you know who I am, you know what journey I've been on, and you understand why I'm able to share some of this stuff with you in a very powerful way. My journey really began back when I was in school growing up, and I always knew there were topics that we were not taught in school. Did you ever have that feeling where you knew that the teachers weren't giving you all the information, or you felt like there's got to be more than just this? That's how I felt. So it led me on a quest, and I read many of the ancient texts of the world, sacred texts like the Bhagavad Gita, the Bible, the Gnostic Gospels, the Tao Te Ching, the Zhuangzi, all of these ancient texts because I was looking for the answers. I was looking for the, the other levels of the puzzle of our human life, you know, trying to put this puzzle pieces together. And very early, I had a very strong intuition and I was a very sensitive kid. So I was feeling things all of the time within myself, within my peers and classmates, and I could feel these energies and I was aware of them from a young age, but I didn't know what they were. I didn't know what to call them, you know? I was just feeling a lot. I could look at someone and feel what they were feeling because I'm an empath. And we can talk more about that later, but I had this awareness and I had to figure out what to do with it, what to call it. So that led me on this quest. And I traveled around the world in my early 20s, traveling to spiritual centers like Tibet and ancient China and some of the Druid sites within England and various places, learning about the spiritual worlds in the different traditions. And along my journeys, I concluded that one of the best systems for understanding who we are as human beings and how the spiritual world works is understanding the chakras. And the more I studied, the more I practiced, I began to realize that this was real because as I worked on each of the energy centers within myself, I could create the results in my life from that energy center. And that's something I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit of in this course as well, is that by strengthening, for example, my sacral chakra, I could pull fun into my world because people would just respond to fun inside of me. That by strengthening my heart chakra, I could create better relationships in every area of my life. And the more I experimented, like a spiritual scientist, I constantly was doing these experiments, I realized how real the chakras are. I realized it was giving me results in my real life. And because of that, that's why I want to share this with you. This is one of the most practical systems of spirituality you will find. And throughout this course, I'm going to be showing you how it connects to so many different aspects of your real life, which is one of the best things. One of the problems we often have with spirituality is it's so airy, fairy, woo-woo, ungrounded that we don't know how to apply it in our life. And that is the purpose of this course. And that is what my journey has enabled me to do. And as well as through my training as an energy healer, I now have the ability to actually go up to people and just through the sensitivity in my hands, and you can do this too, begin to feel these energy centers in yourself or in others. And you can begin to understand why our lives are the way they are through the health of these seven major energy centers in the body. And so for the last year or two of my life has been stepping into the role as a teacher to share this information. I have taught thousands of students about this. I have also been leading classes and workshops on energy healing related to the chakras. So I am just so excited you're here. And let's keep going.